Hello, this video is going to cover how to use MPEG Stream Clip to um, convert a series of images of raw images from a digital camera uh, into a smaller file format for use in a storyboard. So um, I've opened up MPEG Stream Clip here and what I need to do is uh, go to the very uh, top uh, where you've got the list command and one of the options here is batch list. Now when I select that you'll get the batch list command here. I'm going to just clear it and start again. Um, from the beginning. So you press add files, you'll then have to navigate through uh, your um, camera your cam uh, that you have your images actually on and find the images that you need. So in my case it's these images that I took uh, today. So down at the bottom I've got the option to add these to the batch. So I'll just press to batch down here and it then gets a wee bit strange because MPEG screen clip is mainly used for converting video format, but I'm going to use it um, to go for other formats here. You can see that there's no actual option for JPEG there, which is what we want to go to. So we press export to other formats and then press OK. Now when you do that, it then says what is your destination folder going to be. Um, you can't really see that here, but down at the bottom, there's a button that says new folder. So I'm just going to go to my desktop here and I'm going to select... Um, a new folder that I'm going to call um, images um, compressed. And if I press create, it will make that folder there for me. And this is where my compressed images are going to go. So down at the bottom, I press select. And now things get a wee bit complicated. You have to select your format from the list. Now, all of the other formats here are video formats. The only one we're interested in is image sequence. You ignore all of this other stuff down here, it's of no use. You then go to Options, up at the top, make sure you select JPEG from the list of file types because that's what we're going to be using. Um, I'm not sure insert space for number does, I think it renames the pictures or something, but it's not really a concern for us. Uh, then press Option. Um, I'm going to go for the least quality because all I need is uh, just the raw images actually made into smaller file sizes, so that should do just about OK. Um, and then I'll press OK uh, and OK again. And then press two batch down here you'll then see them all gone now i pressed automatic start here so it does them straight away you may have to press start if you haven't got that option pressed uh, once that happens um, i'll then be able to actually open up uh, those images compressed and here they are so you can see that the completed size of those is like 196k or something like that the actual raw images the original ones were um something like 1.2 uh, meg or something like that so they're really quite big so you can see that they've, they've been compressed down quite substantially and they can now be used uh, to make your storyboard